Willow. I go to the Putney School in Putney, Vermont. And for my project week, I use Johnny Chung Lee's research and programming to build an interactive whiteboard. Um, to do that, I connected a Wii remote to my laptop Bluetoothly um, and sent signal to the Wii remote, which is an infrared camera. I built an infrared pen, which has a battery slotted inside the old recycled um, whiteboard marker. Um, wired to a momentary switch which goes to an infrared LED which you can see because the camera reads infrared. Um, I basically built the whiteboard that John Chung Lee designed and had fun with that and then decided I was going to go from there and build a interactive tabletop display where rather than when you're standing in front of a projector you're sort of blocking it sort of like this and you're, everywhere you move your hand it blocks um, what the projector is projecting whereas with this display moving your hand around uh, basically you don't block anything you move your hand around and you can still write and see exactly what you're trying to do um, basically the software that I'm running on my computer was written by Yui Schmidt and it's just Wiimote whiteboard for Mac um, I'm using a Mac laptop. Uh, this tabletop display is consists of a recycled piece of glass that was a window pane at one time uh, with some tissue paper from the dollar store taped onto the back with some electrical tape for safety because um, they are actually in fact quite easy to break um, as we learned. And below that is a standard projector um, that you can find in any classroom, or most schools have them. Um, and it's projecting into this mirror, which is a recycled mirror, um, which is propped up by a pencil, which is taped to an algebra textbook, um, which just projects the image straight up onto this sort of opaque piece of glass, um, allowing you to see through with a high resolution, but um, sort of not letting it continue all the way up and sort of blind you when you're writing on it. Um, so it allows you to then sort of write anywhere on the program you want. You can write notes to yourself like, Hi, I'm Willow. And you can even slide over, more space. And this is just openware software GIMP um, with a document open so you can use it with any tablet software um, any sort of software you want um, question mark all sorts of fun doodly stuff you can do um, all of this basically if you were to buy a tabletop interactive display from let's say Microsoft which I looked up earlier it costs about ten thought ten thousand dollars um, this infrared pen, which I built with a soldering kit, um, and a drill costs seven dollars with Radio Shack parts. Um, that's if you can find an old pen laying around your house. The piece of glass is, again, recycled, didn't cost me anything. Um, and the piece of tissue paper was a pack of 40 from the dollar store, so I can make as many as I want with 40 sheets, big sheets. Um, piece of reflective material, such as a mirror, um, sort of a cost that doesn't really amount to much and I found mine for free using recycled parts as well. Pencil, any teenagers probably got one in their backpack. Some tape, a Wii remote, which costs about, I don't know, $45, $40. Um, and a laptop and a projector. So really, there's no way that this technology should cost us $10,000 to have at home where I built one in a week for a minimal amount of money. So, thanks for listening. Super fun. Definitely think about building one because no matter what, they're super fun to play with. Thanks. Bye.